Greetings everyone. This is Dean Long from NewTech with another tutorial on Creo. Today I would like to show the draft tool and the variable draft tool. You'll notice up here in our toolbar we have draft and variable pull direction draft and I would like to show the functionality of those and the differences to help you make better decisions on when to use one as opposed to the other. Those of you that may be familiar with Creo already and most likely are familiar with the draft tool know that we can select a draft surface to be uh, drafted with an angle we can select a draft hinge, either a plane or an edge, and then a pull direction. And we have the ability to drag this value or explicitly set the value with a numeric value. So that's the typical draft. With the advent of the variable pull draft, We've been given the ability now to select a draft direction, an edge, and you'll notice it looks somewhat similar in that it will give you a value. But then also we're able now to add additional values along this edge, the draft hinge, that allows us to create different shapes on this surface. And it's very similar to our variable round where we add different waypoints along the draft edge. So for example, I have two options. I can come to this bar and right click and add an angle. Or I can come out and hover over this uh, node and add an angle. So let me do that. I will click Add Angle. You'll notice that it then adds another waypoint at the end. So essentially what it's done is specify the endpoints. That also allows me now to right click, add an angle, and just for fun I'll come over and show you, you can do it here as well. Right click, add an angle, and you'll notice that it's adding these waypoints. We have the ability to move these anywhere we like, and then we also have the ability to go in and modify to a positive or negative draft angle. So that's the variable draft tool. That's the explicit variable draft tool. I also want to show you that with the draft tool alone, if I go back and click just draft, I select the services that I'd like to draft. I click, I click my draft edge my pull direction, you'll see that I get this angle. Now in this draft tool, if I then hover over this node and, sorry, the uh, knot and add an angle, you'll notice that I'm able to add a value, but it doesn't add values at the endpoints. And so what this does is it keeps this start point to this point the same angle and you'll notice that it will do the same on this. So essentially what it's doing is it's looking at the values between this end and this node and keeping a constant and then transitioning between this node and this node the different values of 5 and 30. So there are subtle differences in draft and variable draft, but there are some uses that are a little bit different. You can see that, again, you get straight lines and a transition, and on the variable draft, you get more of a natural or a flowing transition. So hopefully this has uh, cleared up a little bit of the questions about draft and variable draft. Again, this is Dean Long at NewTech, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Have a good day.